very sorry to say, I need your assistance. I hid the copious material I compiled after opening the vault those five long years ago. In a fit of spastic paranoia, I did not write down the locations to the information. Find it for me, and be handsomely... Oh, were you expecting me to say handsomely rewarded? You will help me, and I will pay you. It is as simple as that. I think I nearly killed all these people. Sanctuary against everyone's better judgment. Not my own, mind you. I never wanted to be here. I was perfectly content to live out my days in a non-standard living arrangement with two ceiling chairs I met at a bar fight. Oh, they're adorable. They barely speak any English. And if you have to ask what a ceiling chair is, I pity the life you've wasted. I should discuss the scroll event in the room. The reason for my relocation was an elongated and systematically unpleasant torture at the hands of Jack's cronies. Roland and his well-defined pectoral muscles were kind enough to entrust the vault key with me after the awakening of the Destroyer. Not to be confused with the Warrior. Seriously, those sound nothing alike. Oh, right. Torture. I asked nicely on several occasions to take proper precautions against bacteria on the instruments, but it fell upon idiotic ears. As they cut into my flesh over and over, I would fade in and out of consciousness and whisper to the ceiling chairs that it was going to be okay. Clork was afraid at first. His four legs trembled against the cold ceiling, but he knew he had to be strong for me. Then they went to work on his brother, Philippe. I just... Philippe was so brave. He was so brave for me when the rotary saws began to ply his legs from his body. Clark cried out for his brother, even when one of the torturers inadvertently sat on him and muffled his cries. The last thing Philippe said before he passed on to the great wooden beyond was, I love you, Patty. I love you. I used to be a millionaire. You know? And then he was gone. It's lonely here in Sanctuary. And sure, Clork shit. prattles around on the ceiling, but it's hardly the same. Jack has taken so much from me. Jack has taken the only happiness I've ever had in his asinine quest for the warrior and more power. Revenge is as pointless as music, but on this occasion, I will allow myself the revenge. I will allow myself to aid in his downfall. Mark my words, Jack. You're going to die! Ah! The chronicles of my torture. I shall warm up some cold cocoa and listen to these again. 